I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> the video ended. Uh, of course. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Why? What's your problem? Now it says I'm good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, it says I'm on, but my Okay, my computer did not want to cooperate. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, well, you're all here, and I'm here, and I think I'm freezing. All right. <sighs> well, as you can tell, I'm in the studio today, and the Wi-Fi is not fantastic out here, so I'm really hoping that this will work out and it doesn't freeze and get too crazy. Uh, my apologies if it does, I'm trying to kind of keep track here. My computer just said I was gone and now I'm back. Um, I am not in the office today uh, because there is a small child in there waiting with his mother and he's very noisy. So I thought, I'm gonna try it out here. We're gonna see what happens. Um, hopefully we're good. My Wi-Fi seems to be pretty strong right at the moment. So fingers crossed, if I freeze or if I disappear, my apologies, please don't yell at me. Um, just saying good morning to everybody. So, uh, Barb and Marlene are also not here because Barb has another retreat this weekend that just started um, about an hour and a half ago. So Barb is off doing her thing and Marlene is there. So they're doing their retreat thing two weekends in a row and I'm here all by myself. So, and it just keeps freezing. Okay, again, I am super, super sorry about the freezing. There's nothing that I can do about it. So we're just gonna move on and uh, and go from there. I did test it out and it seemed fine earlier, but right now it wants to be difficult. So um, I have a list and I have some things to share with you guys and I am in the studio, so it's pretty bright in here, which is nice. I like how bright it is. I got my candle going, my lights. So I, I would love to be able to be out here every, every time we do Facebook, but it just doesn't work that way. And for some reason, your comments are going in the opposite direction that they normally do. I don't know what's happening today. It might be a full moon, <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, so um, let's start. I've got a list here of a bunch of random miscellaneous things to go over with you. Uh, so we were at the retreat last week, and, um, and you guys saw that. That was not a glitch in the video. That was me stuttering. Shelly, um, Shelly, I, I forgot to tell you this. Um, but somebody came up to me and said, wow, she did such an amazing job helping you on Facebook. Did you guys rehearse that? And I said, nope, we just kind of were winging it. So Shelly, you are a natural. You had no idea, but you are a natural on Facebook. Um, of course, as usual, every time I'm at a retreat, I have a list of things to tell you guys. And then I get so overwhelmed with walking around and talking that I totally forget to tell you some of those things. So one thing I wanted to remind all of you of is that our virtual retreat, our next one, is the first weekend of April. I want to say the first, second, third, whatever that very first weekend is. I will be out of town next week because I'm going to Branson, so I'm going to mail the goodie bags today, okay? So if you sign up after, um, like, well, pretty much from today on, unless it happens like right now, your goodie bag will be late. And I apologize for that. But unfortunately, with the timing of everything, it's just the way that it is. So if I, if you sign up later today, over the weekend, whatever it may be, you will get a goodie bag. It will just be a little bit late, but I will get it out as soon as I possibly can. One of the things included in the goodie bag today, I'm going to show you in a few minutes and I will let you know not to order it because <laughs> you're getting it. So I'm going to tell you in just a minute. So I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to be doing that later. Um, one quick little, I, I want to say update, but it's not really an update, is about Sofuse. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about that and I still plan on getting it, but I still cannot get an answer from the gal at Sofuse. So I am definitely still looking into it, but that is why we have not gotten it yet. So if you are looking for that, it is not on my website because I can't get it in yet. I'm trying. Um, also, speaking of the website, you guys have been um, obsessed with some of the new corks, like the seashells. So some of them are out of stock right now. They are on the way. They should be here probably before I get back from Branson. So be patient. Um, anything that says it's out of stock is on its way to me, and I will have that shortly. So 
Oh, Terry, you're not going to be able to go to Branson. Yeah, I can understand. Gas prices are crazy. I am not looking forward to um, driving and having to deal with all that. But I'm teaching, so I'm going to make the best of it. <laughs> My allergies are also crazy right now because spring has sprung in New York and ugh, it's just awful. It's awful. I hate having allergies. And every time the season changes, it gets worse. So um, let me see here. Okay, well, let's just jump right into Branson since we're kind of talking about Branson. Um, I will be leaving this weekend for Branson. I have classes Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Friday is my free day. So Friday, my mom and I will go to the show like I did when we were in Houston, and we're going to walk around and take a look. Um, hopefully, we'll find something cool to show you guys, maybe see some vendor friends. I have not really looked to see who's going to be there that I might know, but I haven't seen so many of these people in two years so it'll be exciting so we're gonna do Facebook live as we normally do I am planning on doing it at our normal time even though I'll be an hour behind um, don't change anything on your end I'm gonna do it at the same time that we normally do so that is 11 o'clock Eastern which I guess would be 10 o'clock Central Time so we're still gonna do that we are gonna have a little meetup I have not picked the time and place yet because I'm not there so once I get there and we get to the hotel, which we are staying at the Hilton, and we get that all situated and we see a good place for us to meet up, we're gonna plan something for Friday evening, um, probably around five or 6 p.m. I will put the information on Facebook and I will put it on my website so that you know. Um, and then oh, <laughs> and then you can um, meet up. So it's just gonna be an informal, like, you know, finally get to put names with faces, say hi, give hugs. If you have a bag of mine, we can take some pictures, you know, do some fun stuff. Um, we took pictures at the retreat with myself and Charlie and Shelly and Joe Evans because we have all done the virtual retreats together for over a year now. So it was really fun to take a picture with all of them and see them in person. Um, Bobby likes my sweatshirt, which says, um, participation trophy wife. I always tell my husband I am a trophy wife. Even if I'm only a purple ribbon, I'm still a trophy wife. So, <laughs> so here, here I am. I'm casual today, but it was a funny shirt and I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. So I'm sorry. I'm laughing at myself now. Shelly, I do need you here to help me today. Get back to New York. <laughs> So if Ginny wants to know who's planning on coming to Branson, and so do I. So if you're coming to Branson, tell me. I want to know. I want to know who to be on the lookout for. Um, you will see me around the show. So like I said, I have a class all day Wednesday from like 8.30 to 4 or 4.30. We do have a lunch break, so we'll, you know, we'll be around. But I will be at the show teaching all day. Thursday, I have a lecture, and then I have a half-day class. Friday, we're doing whatever my mom wants because I am dragging her along for this show. Um, and, you know, I told her we're going to Branson. We can do anything you want. So she'll decide our plans during the day on Friday. We'll have our meetup and we'll have our Facebook Live. And then Saturday, I just have a half day class. So I definitely would love to see you guys and put some faces with your names. I see you all here. So I would love to see you in person. So that is where we're at with Branson. Keep an eye out on Facebook and also on my webpage, my website, right on the homepage, I will put information. But as far as I know, what I can tell you, we will meet at the Hilton and it will be Friday evening. So let me see what else. So I uploaded yesterday <laughs> the retreat bloopers, the, um, the true confessions that I make them do. And I tell... I tell all of them when I walk around at the retreat, it's time to confess. Confess all of your, your sewing sins and then they'll, they'll go away. So tell me what you did. So I combined all of them. I try to keep it under a minute so it's quick, um, so I can put it on Facebook. There were definitely more things and I didn't get to do mine. I did not get to do my true confessions and, um, and tell you what I did at the retreat. So a couple of the things that I did wrong is I actually went prepared this time. I'm very, very excited. I went fully prepared. However, <laughs> I went too prepared because I can't get that much stuff done at a retreat that I am co-hosting, that people are gonna ask me questions. I had a pop-up shop, you know, Shelly was there, everybody was there, I was chatting. So I went too prepared, which I did not think you could do. I have been to too many retreats where I have been unprepared. I thought being over-prepared was a good thing. I brought two bags half done. I had the linings cut out. 
I brought two bags to make for Branson. I brought um, stuff to make a boxy pouch for my thread because you guys like to make fun of my plastic thread bag. Um, so I brought all that stuff and I finished one thing, one. And it is here. This is what I finished and I showed you guys this. Okay, so let's also confess why there's rivets here. It looks pretty, right? It looks really nice. The handle is riveted on. It's pretty, I've got rainbow rivets. Well, the reason is I didn't sew it into the back. <laughs> so I was just doing my thing, doing my thing, sewing along, getting all excited. I'm almost done. I get to finish this bag. I use our cool striped zippers, which there is a roll of them behind me because I've been staring at them since they came in. Aren't they pretty? So I was so excited to make this bag and finish it up. I started with this one. This was the Alice because I knew it was going to be quick. And I was like, I'm going to just bang that out, get it done. And it's going to be awesome. I'll get to sit and stare at it. Um, no, instead, I only got this done and I was so excited to finish it that I forgot to sew the handles on. So I had to rivet them. So it looks, it looks like an intentional design element. It's not, it's not at all. And because I didn't know I was doing that, I have to fix my top stitching because I didn't um, finish all the way to the end here. So that was my first mistake. My second one <laughs> was just really thinking that I was gonna get anything done that I, I didn't get done. So it's okay. Stripe zippers, let's talk about those for a minute. Aren't they pretty? I mean, come on, they're so pretty. So we have the stripes, the black and white striped, the rainbow in stock. I want to use it on everything, like literally everything. I want everything to be <laughs> black and white and using stripe zippers. I have ordered them in other teeth colors. So we are getting those. I don't know when they're gonna be in. I'm hoping within a month or so. Um, things take a while to ship nowadays. Not that they didn't before, but they definitely take some time. So we are getting them with gunmetal and rose gold and brass and silver. So those will be in soon. And since you guys really like the, um, the fancy zipper pulls, which I told you a long time ago I was never getting, and I'm still standing by that. I'm not getting crazy, we're not going overboard. We're doing them in set packs um, so that you can just try out some fancy pulls. Try a few of them out. I did use some on here. We're gonna get those in other colors too. That's where I was going. See, I get really distracted. So I used the diamond shape and I used the heart shape. Isn't that cute? And then I finished something else where I used even more of them. So um, Yvonne, they are in the shop. They are in the, um, on the zippers page right at the top. The zippers and the decorative poles are right next to them. So is that, <laughs> um, this right here, this jar, oh, hold on. This, Charlie wants to, Charlie wants to start drama. <laughs> this is 104 yards of zippers that we took to the retreat and made people guess and we had a basket of goodies if you win. So um, there is 104 yards and I counted every single one of them and I put them in here. And so now it's just funny and it sits here on my, on my uh, uh, shelf, whatever that is there. So that is that. Is that. Um, Charlie did not win as you may have picked up on, but somebody else did and guessed one shy. She guessed 103 and there was 104. So I wouldn't even tell Barb and Marlene how many were in there because I didn't want them to, to wrap me out and tell everybody. So we did have a fantastic time at the retreat and I got a bag done, a bag, so I'm happy. <laughs> I haven't been able. Um, Bobby, I, Bobby said, I haven't been able to take the original pull off the base. How do you do that? Um, the pulls, you don't take them apart. Is that what you mean? Like, um, that's not what I wanted, this one. These are the actual pull themselves. So the pull and the decorative part are attached. You don't take them off. You use that in place of a regular pull. So in place of the rectangle or the donut, you would use that. Um, I think that's what you meant. Um, but yeah, these are full pulls. So they're not like the little handmade tags that we have with the hooks on them where you can attach them onto something. These are different. These are a, a complete pull. So you just put them on your zipper. So. All right, let me see if there's any more questions. Everybody needs a participation trophy, Rebecca. I am my husband's participation trophy. <laughs> he participated in marriage and this is what he got. Lucky, lucky him. The purse behind me with the purple cork on the bottom, please love the colors. 
this one I assume this is the one that you mean this this is um, Harper and that is a tulip pink embroidery with the icicles this is the full-size Harper there's fabric on the side where the pockets are cork on the front and back and cork accents and cork handles I assume that is the one that you were talking about I think I don't see any other purples so okay so what else are we gonna get into and since I'm out here and the Wi-Fi seems to be eh, it's all right um, if you would like a little tour of this slop hole because it's a little messy right now I will show you so you can see where I film when we're all done I will be happy to show you if you're interested so let me show you what else I made and also just tell you for those of you that are wondering about um, us doing more retreats like in-person retreats I should have dates ready um, by the time I get back from Branson I'm just waiting on Barb who's waiting on the hotel to finalize everything and hopefully we will have some um, possibly the end of this year I don't know but definitely for next year so in-person retreats are difficult because of the area that we live in um, summertime is completely out we live in a very touristy place so summertime does not work for us um, the fall we do get a lot of the leaf peepers. That's what they call the people that love to come and, and look around. But we will um, hopefully have some, hopefully fall, but I'm definitely going to say early um, winter and spring next year. So, okay. Well, Cheryl wants a tour, so I'm gonna give you a tour. But you have to, you have to look at me for a few more minutes first. So, I have a whole bunch of stuff I wanna go over with you guys. Things that I forgot about and things that I also did in the last week. So. I cut out another bag that I wanted to work on at the retreat and I did start working on it. So Shelly saw it and I think a couple other people saw it. I started it, but I finished it this week. And that is for me, I'm going to carry this around. Um, so if you see me in Branson, you will know for sure it is me. I mean, if I don't have my sweatshirt on, I made myself a new Aria. You guys know I have been carrying this one. I have been carrying this Aria. Okay since October. It's not very wintry, but clearly I don't care about that. And I love this bag. I love, love, love the bag. The credit cards, all the stuff right here is so convenient. However, the vinyl is heavy and it's time for a new bag and I wanted to use the new zippers. And also some of you, some of you like to tell me that I shouldn't still be carrying my Michael Myers Halloween wallet. I think you are wrong, but whatever, it's fine. I am still carrying it. So, I also just realized I never put my wedding band on today. I am I am a I am not participating in marriage today apparently. Oh well. So anyway, <laughs> I am now going to carry this one around. So I will have this in Branson. Now I did rivet the handles on this one, but I did it on purpose because I had already opened up the bag of rivets and I thought it looked cool. So my my mistake became a happy mistake. I use the new zippers. I use the little leaf holes here. I use my rivet setter and these cute little um, magnets here. Hold on. Where are you located? I feel bad for even asking this question because I've been watching you for so long. It is totally fine. I don't always, I don't always um, tell everybody where I live or I mention it very casually. Um, for those of you that don't know or want to know or already know, I am in upstate New York. Um, upstate New York is pretty much anything that's not Manhattan for most people, but I am technically on the eastern side of New York, near Vermont, um, close, they call it the capital region. I'm right outside of, all right now I'm in Schenectady, which is to the west. I don't live here, I live the other way. And our retreats are north. So our retreats are in Lake George, which is a very touristy area. If you've ever heard of Saratoga Springs, where the racetrack is, it's about a half hour north of there. So that's where our retreats are held. So no problem, you can always ask questions. <laughs> so I have skulls inside because I needed to use a little bit of the skulls. I have a heart here. I used all the zipper pulls, okay? So leaves, hearts on the back. I put an extra pocket with the diamonds, but wait for this. So I was here in the studio finishing this bag and looking around and thinking, what zipper pull do I wanna use for the recess zipper? I'm pretty sure somebody gave these to me. I Maybe I ordered them. Maybe Sue Smith gave them to me. I have no idea. I can't remember. But look at this. It's a, it's a rainbow skull. 
and I would love to tell you where it came from, but I have no idea. So if I ordered it, I don't remember, and if someone gave it to me, I have no idea. But I have a rainbow skull to go with my little skulls, and then I have some of my hoarded tulip pink line work. I have lemurs, and then I have the hexagons. So I am so excited about this bag. I am ridiculously excited. And I did the black as the gusset, where normally in the pattern it would be the cream, but I know that I am gonna set this down on the ground a lot and get it dirty, so I wanted to use the black, and I don't, I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed. And, and even better, so I made this during the January virtual retreat, this little daybreak right here. So this little daybreak is going in here, and I have another one somewhere. Where is it? Well, I have, um, I have a Sydney somewhere that I'm also going to take. I don't know where it went, but I'll find it. So that is what I finished this week. So you are from Whitehall. Wow, I had no idea. Whitehall is even further north. <laughs> yes. I'm just looking at your comments. Sorry. <laughs> I got that. I answered that. And okay. All right, so that was that. Now, last week I showed you, and Shelly and I both showed you, that um, I finally published the cross-country tote. So this cross-country tote was originally in the Winter Magazine. I think this was the last part of the series that came out. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it was. So this was in the Pack Your Bag series that I wrote for Quilt and More. And as much as I loved it, and as much as I loved the pattern, it, I didn't write the pattern. I, I wrote it, but then they rewrote it. That's how magazines work. So they have a certain number of words and a certain number of pages, and so they really pared it down. And you know, it wasn't written the way that I normally write it. So I have been encouraged by many of my virtual participants to make sure that I, you know, to, to put this out there. So I did, and I put a video out there. But also, also, aside from the cross-country tote, I've been working on something because of Branson. So, you may or may not remember this pattern right here. This is Stella. I'm gonna take it out of the bag here. So, Stella, this was written in 2015, okay? I love this pattern. I absolutely adore this pattern. It was one of the first patterns I did. It, actually, it was the first pattern I did with a recessed zipper. And it's a little bit different from the way I normally do recess zippers. It's similar, but different. It has the little um, twist lock on the front. I was looking at one of my originals that I still have, one of the older samples. The twist lock was purchased from Joann's. That's how old it was. I didn't even have that hardware. I didn't even have hardware. If I had Diva frames, that was it. And I don't even remember if I did. So I'm teaching this in Branson. And when it was first brought up, I thought, ugh. I don't know if I really want to teach that bag. I haven't taught it in so long. It's what, seven years old now. We should move on to something new. And then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, why not? Why not teach it? Because I haven't taught it in so long and it would be a great time to get some new samples and like really revamp the pattern. So I took a look at the pattern. It is my current formatting. It's the font that I use. It's everything that I want it to be but it doesn't have letters. It, I have all of my pieces lettered. So I thought, okay, this will be a quick project. I'm just gonna put in the letters and redo that and then just add them in the pattern, redo it, be done. And then I can't do anything simple because that is just not who I am as a human being. So as I started going through it, I started realizing that this pattern is good, but it could be better. So I rewrote the entire thing. So if you are coming to Branson and taking this class, you're getting the brand new Stella Sling bag. She's revamped. She has cork. She has flip locks, twist locks, all the good stuff, handmade tags, everything from start to finish, redone, lettered, new pictures, and a brand new video. So that is right. I filmed a makeup tutorial, cross country kit or tote and the Stella all within the week before I went to the retreat and edited them in between the retreat and now. So I literally just got done editing Stella 
yesterday and uploaded it yesterday. I sat in this office and waited for the final eight minutes of uploading so I could go. <laughs> it was like almost there, almost there. So there's a brand new video. I just put it on YouTube at like 1030 this morning. So it is on there and I have new samples I want to show you. I do want to say one quick thing. If you have this pattern, if you have this with the red cover, this has never changed and it looks like this. All you have to do is send me an email, show me that you own that pattern, and I will email you the latest copy. Be patient with me. I am all by myself and I am frantically trying to pack for Branson, so I will get back to you as soon as I can. But if you already own the pattern, I will send it to you. Not a problem. Just show me that you already own it. If you don't own the pattern, just like last week, for the whole weekend, today through Sunday, you can buy it for $2. Why? Because I wanted to. So if you don't have it, $2 and it's yours. And I don't have kits, okay? We did not put any kits on the website and I'm gonna tell you why and you'll understand when you see some of the corks that I have selected. They are very low or out of stock. So when I get back from Branson, I will be putting um, kits on the website. We'll get some new kits. I'll probably do some in fabric. And whatever I have left over from the Branson show, cause I have pre-cut, pre-fused kits, Whatever we do not sell at the Branson Show for our classes, those will also go on the website. So you may snag a pre-fused, pre-cut kit that you just have to take to your sewing machine and sew. So, uh, let's see, this is the one that's on the cover. I was thinking about carrying this one and then I made the Aria and I was like, nope, I have to take the Aria. So, yes, I have been super busy. This is why I am exhausted. <laughs> And probably why my allergies are kicking my butt right now because they know that I'm just kind of so but it's all right I do what I do because I love you guys and you love me back so this is the one from the cover isn't she pretty this is the only one I got finished before the retreat and there's the zipper if you were in the virtual retreat back in January you saw the outside of this one the plaid one and plaid is on back order right now too. So this one with the embossed black on the bottom and I used rose gold. I had it at home, so that's why I picked it, but I really like it because normally I would have gone with like brass or gold or even gunmetal. I love the rose gold. And I used one of my little strawberry pulls that I found on some website. I have no idea. I buy a lot of zipper pulls. And then I finished this one this week. So that is all done. So we will do some kits soon. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. If you have the original pattern, and also in the new pattern, it's gonna tell you that you get a single handle, okay? So this is one of the older samples. Stella was written with a single, non-adjustable handle. But instead of making it super complicated, as I have already done to myself too many times this week, uh, what I did is I included how to do a slide and how to make an adjustable handle in the YouTube video. So it's a great reference if you want to do it in any of your bags, um, but you can also add it to this one. And I talk about cutting your cork and doing that in fabric or in, uh, in cork. So I added a lot of stuff in there. And then we also talk about flip locks and twist locks. It's a fun video. So it's going to show you lots of stuff that you can use for other bags too. And I'm sorry for anybody telling me right now that the video is frozen. I, there is nothing I could do about it. I'm doing the best I can. Oh, I found my Sydney. So this is the Sydney that I will be taking with me to Branson. So I am rainbowed out. And this is the last one that I finished this week. And what I love about this bag, this has a very bright, obnoxious floral in the center, but that's okay, or in the lining. It has the recess zipper and it's connected all the way up to the side. So this recess zipper is 100% enclosed because of the shape of this bag. This was the first time I'd ever done a recess zipper and I thought it was the coolest thing ever, as you might have noticed, because I do them in almost all of my bags now. But most of the time when you have a rectangular bag and you know a flat top, it's very difficult with your machine to sew those short ends in. You can sew them by hand, there's always a way around it, but it's not as easy. Where this, because of the style of bag, it actually worked out kind of nicely. Um, and I may play around to see if there's some other things I can do with some other recess zippers. Every time I do something, it sparks me to want to do other things. So I just, you know, my brain just goes a million miles an hour, like my mouth. So there's lots of room in here. 
These two, because I was kind of in a hurry, I didn't put any pockets inside. They're samples, it does not matter. Uh, I just wanted to get them done so I could show you guys this week. So what I love is that there's a zippered pocket on the back so you have access to your cell phone or whatever you need quickly. There's divided pockets and a zippered pocket inside, fully recessed zipper, fully closed, and the flip lock or the twist lock on the flap. So it's nice and secure. You can make it with a single handle. You can make it with an adjustable handle. So that is Stella. She's all pretty and updated. I'm very excited. And I was looking at my samples when I was getting ready to go to Branson. And this was the last sample of this bag that I made. It has vinyl on the bottom. I don't know where I got it from, but I was playing around with vinyl. This is my fabric collection. This was Juniper. Juniper was released in 2019, which means I made this in late 2018, early 2019. That was the last time that I had done anything with this pattern. So it definitely, definitely needed, it needed an update and it needed something, you know, it needed something fun. So, okay, let me take a sip here. So we have last week, a uh, new old published pattern, but brand new. This week we have a new old pattern, but you know, revamped. I've got videos for you guys. And thank you to all of you who left nice comments on the makeup video. Um, somebody left one of the sweetest comments I have ever read in my life. I will not read it to you, but it is on there and it's just she just warmed my heart. So thank you. And thank you to all of the trolls for going away and not bothering me and saying mean things. It's wonderful. So, all right, we got the pattern. We got the pattern for $2 this weekend. Kits will be coming. What else? Okay. So before I give you a little tour of the studio, I did want to talk really briefly about cam snaps again, because we've been kind of talking about them. So one thing that I'm working on and I Hope to put this together in the near future. I want to put it on the website just for um, just for your your own benefit. When it comes to the rivet presses, I have my gold star and I have my cam snap. And a lot of people lately have been thinking about wanting to get into it, but like, where do I start? Can you help me put something together? So I do want to put together a very brief little list of for both com both companies. So if you want to order one, you can go ahead and you can get you know just the basics. What I've said before, and I'll say it again and again, start simple. Don't get super overwhelmed. Don't decide you wanna buy a rivet press and then buy like 10 different die sets and get all these things and then not know what you're doing and what you're gonna want. You're going to, if you're doing any, um, any kind of bag making, my patterns are otherwise, rivets are a great place to start because rivets can be incorporated into any pattern. It does not matter. I could take this bag right here and I could add them here for decoration. I could add them on the handle. I could use them on the flap. I can use them as decoration or I can use them as something that actually holds pieces together. So rivets are a great place to start. But I, if you're like me, you get overwhelmed and excited and you just start buying a bunch of stuff. And then you get done and you think, I have no idea what I bought and I don't know why I need all this stuff. And $300 later, I don't know what I'm doing. So if you want to do Sydney or Daybreak or you're getting into anything that requires a closure or a snap of some kind, that would probably be the next thing you might want to add. And maybe you want to do both of those depending on your budget at the same time. So I'm going to put those both on there as some options. I want to write something up so that if you, you can go to either website and you can pick out what you want and make it easy for you. A lot of you have sent me emails and I'm happy to help you. I'm this. This benefits me in no way except that you guys are good to me and I, I'm good to you back. I try my best and I know that I knew zero going into this and I just started buying stuff and I want to help you not overspend, you know, in places that you will regret. I feel like it's really hard to overspend on cork because it's just pretty. But buying a rivet setter and buying 10 different dyes that you don't need, th that just makes me sad sometimes. So I'm going to work on doing this. In the meantime, Charlie was so nice and brought his handheld cam snap presses with him. So I don't have one of those to show you. I'm sure I will buy one at some point so I can show you all the things because it's just fun. But it's a great option if you want to do a press, but one of the big presses is too much because they're, they're going to be in the $80 to $100 range for just the press, depending on where you buy it from, what color you buy, all that stuff. Excuse me. So Charlie brought his. 
The only thing that I would say would be a downfall to that is if you lack hand strength, because with the rivet press that I have, it sits on a table and you're just gonna have to pull the lever down or even push it down. If you have issues with your hands, with arthritis, with hand strength, his, um, the style that Charlie had might be a little bit difficult for you. That would be something you would have to decide. But what I loved about it, cause I haven't been able to see it in person. It was very lightweight. It felt really nice. It wasn't awkward to hold. And you can really get into places that sometimes you can't with the table press because it's sitting down on something and it's heavy. It's not something you're gonna hold up and you know try to use. Where the handheld was very, it felt really nice. And you can use the dies in that handheld press. And those um, are starting in like the $30 range. So it's a great place to start. If you're like, I just wanna do rivets. I just, I don't wanna hammer them anymore. I wanna get something, but I don't have $100 to spend. Can you spend 30 bucks on a handheld and then get a die? Remember, the dies are always gonna be extra. The dies are just like the feet for your machines. You get your machine, but when you need a new foot, you're spending 25, 30, $40, depending on the manufacturer. But I was really excited because Charlie brought it so we could play around with it and it was super easy to use. So if you decide you want to do that, I will, I, I'm probably just going to order one just because so, you know, I'm weird like that. And I, I do it for you. It's for the research. But if I get that, then I can kind of, you know, go through and put some information together. The one thing I did get, and this was a gift from Nancy Castle. And I misunderstood, so this is totally my fault. I thought what Nancy had was the handheld press. What Nancy had is the handheld um, plastic snap setter. So be, be cautious. If you go on the website, on the cam snaps, this is not what you want to order if you want to do other things. This is only for plastic snaps. It's super inexpensive. I think I wrote it down. These are like 15 to $17. So if you are just doing plastic snaps, that's it. This is a great thing to use because it, that's what it's made for. And they, you can change these pieces out for different plastic snaps. This is not gonna take your other dies. So this is not gonna do rivets. This is not gonna do metal snaps. But if you are just into plastic snaps, and this is easy. Don't put your finger in there when you're doing it. This is easy. And I am pretty good hand strength. I have a little arthritis in my thumb. I locks up sometimes, but this is not hard at all. So if you are looking to just do plastic snaps, you can really do something inexpensive, but just be cautious. If you're looking on the website, this is not what you want. If you're looking for the handheld version of the rivet press. So just be careful. But, um, Nancy very graciously gifted this to me so I could try it out. Worked really nicely. It set the plastic snaps really well same plastic snaps that i had purchased from um, gold star and cam snap so definitely good purchase but this kind of quality and the lightweight metal is very similar to that handheld press that charlie had so charlie thank you again for bringing it and charlie said oh yes the the nice thing about the handheld it uses the same dies as the fully size but you don't need the adapter. And I told you guys this before, there's a little metal, um, it's like a, it looks like a little flower pot. It's an adapter that you have to buy in order to use the tabletop one. It doesn't come standard with it. So these are just little things that I have found out after ordering, watching videos, the whole nine yards. So I am going to work on getting something up. I'm going to try to do it either in my off time in Branson or this weekend, we'll see how it goes, but it is coming. Be patient with me, you usually are. So I'm gonna take a look at your comments and then I think, I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. And then I'll give you a little studio tour so you can see. So let me, let me just scroll back, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um, okay. The Dragonfly Zipper Pull, Cheryl, um, I cannot remember where I ordered that from, but it was either Vala Home Creative, V-A-L-A, -A, or Indo Love Creations with a K, the creations part on Etsy. I just absolutely love fun zipper pulls. Thank you, Shelly. She said I can carry my Halloween wallet as long as I want, and I will. And Cindy, I had no idea that your husband was from Schenectady. That is a small world. Schenectady, unless you're from this area, is not, uh, it's not a, a place most people know of. And what's funny is when you talk on the phone with uh, anyone from customer service, they can't say Schenectady. It's really, it's very humorous. <laughs> Shelly said, Lake George was pretty in the winter, but it did snow while we were there. 
the nerve of mother nature we've we had a spring week last week and then friday for for load in for the um retreat was pretty good saturday it snowed all day but there was a gentleman that worked at the um hotel without us knowing went out and cleared off all of our cars just out of the kindness of his heart so chris i know you're not watching but you are a gem so let me see thank you i'm very excited about my new bag <laughs> Awesome. Rebecca, I am very much like you and so many of you are like me. That's why I'm here. I think that's why we're all here because I'm a kook and some of you are too and you know you are. <laughs> Mary, is there a video for the Aria bag? There sure is. That is on the YouTube channel on the tutorials page. Thank you, Cheryl Taylor. You are amazing. So <laughs> I have been super busy. I need a nap. <laughs> see here oh Joe Lynn you have the day off and you actually got to watch welcome <laughs> isn't that fun getting the day off oh speaking of um, he's right out there so I don't want him to hear this my husband technically fired me like he said the words I don't know if it's gonna stick but so far I, I haven't I haven't been working I haven't even had to get to the phone it's been wonderful I've been spending so much time out here I, it's just fantastic and it's so bright out here I feel like a plant I feel like I'm, I'm in my sunshine so let's hope that sticks <laughs> Shannon I am sorry that you're stressed today but we're here and look we're gonna look at pretty stuff so don't be stressed we've got lots of fun things to look at and Cindy answered that question for me thank you let's see Jenny wants to know what pattern I would suggest for a first timer absolutely Taurus tote bag super easy simple you learn how to make handles it goes together quickly you can do it all out of fabric you can do it with cork on the bottom it's a great one if you've never worked with cork but you don't have to um diva wallet is also a good beginner now those two i don't personally have videos for but my friend stephanie from quilt addicts anonymous has videos she does videos just like i do where she walks you through minus the measurements you still have to get the pattern but she does a great idea a great job she's fantastic and she has several of my patterns so those are two um to work on and i would definitely say look on her youtube channel and mine and find something that has a tutorial that appeals to you even if it looks a little bit more complex than you think you you can handle, having a video is like having your own personal class and you can watch it and you know pause it and do it over and over again and take your time. Don't rush into making something. And one of the best pieces of advice that I will give you, and some of you, some of you do your own thing and that is fine, but make your first bag with no expectations, make it for yourself use it as your learning experience don't give it away don't sell it hold on to it so you can look back and see how much you've grown but try not to put that added pressure of i want to make this bag for my mom because you're going to want it to be so perfect that you're going to stress yourself out and if you are riddled with anxiety and stress like i am then you'll probably do it anyway but i'm i said it on the record that's all i'm saying so Heather is dreaming of getting a snap press and Heather I hope that your dreams come true soon I'm gonna make a list for you guys Karen's excited <laughs> good everybody so oh thank you Nicole you are very sweet I'm just reading your comments <laughs> all right so let's see here Charlie I got that um pat hale charlie got his handheld press from cam snaps it's the same company where my pink one came from same exact company so let's see and oh yes i did say not to buy something if you're coming to the virtual retreat don't buy this pattern i'm sending it to you in the virtual retreat among other things so don't buy it and if you already have it well i'm upgrading you throw your other one out but i promise it's good so don't buy that pattern <laughs> Thank you. Thank everyone's congratulating me on being fired. Thank you. I've never been so excited to be fired from a job. I've actually never been fired before. <laughs> Helene, Helene, my legal assistant, if he undoes the firing, we will negotiate a sign in bonus. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, you guys are awesome. So, oh, let me tell you something real quick and then I'll show you the studio. You've seen my mug before, my, um, blood stains are red ultraviolet lights are blue um while at the retreat on sunday i was very very tired i i did the best i could i put on a face it wasn't great whatever so i'm carrying this around i have on a t-shirt that says i'd rather be watching 
documentary documentaries about serial killers okay I have on leggings and a sweater and I have gotten to the retreat and as soon as I get in the retreat room I take my shoes off because I have my winter boots on and I put my slippers on and my socks said bad words on them and I walked over to say good morning to my friend Lisa and she <laughs> looks at me and says you kind of look like you weren't planning on leaving your house today and I didn't realize what I had looked like <laughs> so if you were at the retreat and saw my phenomenal outfit I wore on Sunday you're welcome so I'm gonna go grab the iPad it's gonna shake for a minute and I'm yes I did watch Dexter Bobby it's fantastic so I'm gonna show you a little tour um, and I'll show you what it looks like in here I cleaned it up a little bit because I knew that you guys might want to see so it's not as messy as it normally is but hang on I'm gonna come grab grab the iPad Hopefully I don't shake you guys too bad. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So we will start here. Yes, I have clothing here. I change sometimes when I am uh, when I'm doing TikToks. And there's my door that doesn't shut all the way. I have push pins everywhere to hang up all of my random bags. There is some vinyl. There is my cozy chair that I don't get to sit in as often as I would like. And my heater. That's my teddy tote completely full of stuff that I will be taking with me for teaching. I have my cutting mat. That is my basket of stuff for the rivet presses. I do have some nice plants that I don't have to water. And I have some pretty samples here. I like to hang up the pretty ones. This is my disgusting rug <laughs> that has not held up well. It was 30 bucks from Amazon, what do you expect? snacks and miscellaneous things this is the table where i do all of the videos so as you can see there's my studio lights and there's some very bright lights up there so that all shines down to here that is the tripod where you were just sitting and there is my ring light and here is this that i showed you last week so this little thing that swivels over I can put my phone and my iPad. This also comes all the way up. So I push it up towards the ceiling with my iPad. And there's my cozy chair. Some pretty samples. And my lights. Even though I rarely ever film myself in here, I have a backdrop for whatever reason. And let me not trip over the chair. So here is some more samples. My candle, it smells nice in here. I always have all fake, these fake plants and all that. I have my basket of vinyl, and then I also have my basket of cork that just kind of hangs out in here. My rivet presses, my to-do list. Do you see how long it is? And it's not even updated. There's all the videos that I need to make. So those are all on there. And Ellie is crossed off because Stephanie is finishing that up and I can take Stella off. Oh, I already did. So that's my to-do list and my machines. So there's my HD9. That usually lives at home, but it's been here since the retreat. My 15,000, my 7,700, those all stay here. And this was all that fake brick paneling and then they painted it white for me. So that's why it's so insanely bright in here. And then there is my pressing station. That is neat even though it doesn't look like it and down there is usually where my big t-shirt press is but it's in the other room i have another tripod here all of my pictures my rulers my clappers all of this fun stuff and this is the view from back here so that's those are all my funny signs so that's my that's my space it's small it's probably 10 feet across, maybe 15 feet long. It's not huge, but it gets the job done and it's warm. <laughs> so that's my studio. So this is what I see when I come in, all of my studio lights and all my stuff. So that's why it's happy in here because it's just bright and fun. And I have all of the stuff that I need in here. I keep it as neat as I can. You know, some days are better than others. So I'll put you back on here. Hang on, guys. There we go. Come on. Okay. <sighs> There's cords and stuff everywhere. It gets a little messy, but 
Okay, so I'm back. I'm not back on the computer. There we go. So, <laughs> Shelly did have on Christmas socks while we were there too. <laughs> So that's my, that's my space. I showed it to you guys a while ago when we were like moving in and it was like super neat and pristine. Um, it's not anymore because that's what happens, but I get to shut the door and walk away from all of it when I'm done. So this is where I spend a lot of my time. I sit at this desk and do um, work on the computer and do my editing because it's a little noisy out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not with the air compressor and stuff, but when I shut the door for the most part, it's pretty quiet in here and I'm not getting bothered by customers. When I sit in the other office, I get bothered by the customers coming in and out. So I can, you know, just sit in here quietly. I do all my videos in here. I've got such great lighting, so it works out really nicely. This thing right here, um, this, I don't even know. It's not a tripod. It's, um, I think it's called an iPad stand. This thing is awesome because I just lift it up above my head and put the iPad right on it and so it shows down. Um, I do have to use a step stool because I can put it up so high for some of the bigger bags that I can't really reach it. Um, other than that, this is just kind of my happy space. I love being at home and sewing, but, excuse me, I don't have the room to really organize everything because I'm in my living room, so I don't have like I just don't have good organization, so it's just kind of a mess. So I'd rather be in here any day. And I have the foam tiles on the floor, so even if I'm standing the whole day filming a video, my feet don't hurt. You know, they're always gonna be a little achy when you're standing all day, but the foam tiles make such a difference, and they have like a wood grain look, so they look pretty, you know, they look, they don't look nice. So I just have to mop them up because they get a little dirty from everything, but I shut that door and I'm just, I'm completely left alone now. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, you should never feel bad if your space is messy because I feel I feel like that's how, you know, that's how we create. We have to just get into it and not worry about the cleaning part and just kind of throw things around. So I definitely, this is cleaner than it was because if you saw this when I was sewing in here a couple days ago, it was crazy. It was absolutely nuts. And I'm just looking at all the thread that's on the floor under my chair. It's gross. Um, the only thing I will tell you about these foam tiles is that I have a chair on wheels. It doesn't wheel too easily because it sinks into the foam. I have one of those mats, those plastic chair mats. It doesn't help that much. So my chair doesn't move too much. It just kind of stays put, but it is what it is. So now you've seen all the behind the scenes stuff. And now you know when you see a video and you see the marble tabletop, it's not marble, it's um, contact paper. It's from Amazon. So this is my marble table right here. <laughs> and all of my funny signs that I laugh about that I look over. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I cannot think of anything else. I've told you everything. I've told you all of the stuff. Um, I did tell a lie by accident. I said that I th thought I had eight sewing machines. I actually think I have nine and 10 if you count my serger. I have a problem, um, but I don't feel so bad because a lot of you have the same problem. So I think we're all together. So. I think I'm gonna let you guys go, get a few more things done, maybe take the rest of the day off, I don't know. I gotta pack my car and then we're heading to Branson. So my mom and I will be heading out Sunday and we will see some of you there and we will see the rest of you live on Facebook on Friday. Did that, you hear that? So obnoxious. So <laughs> I'm gonna call it a day. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Thank you for joining my chaos as usual. And I hope Barb and Marlene are having a great time because, you know, they ditched me again, but that's okay. Uh, Shelly and Charlie, thank you for coming out to the retreat. And thank you to everybody. And if you want to come to a retreat, dates will be coming soon. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.